Hi everyone, it's Mr. Sinti, and today I'd like to talk to you about senses, but in particular, this video is going to emphasize the sense of touch. Now, senses, as you probably know, are ways in which we could perceive the physical environment around us and the, the way we receive messages from the outside so we know what's going on. And so one, one of the most important senses of all is touch. So we could sort of feel our way. We can sense uh, heat, we could sense cold, we could sense light touch, deep touch, and we can also perceive pain. And so all of these senses are the way in which knowledge comes into our, our body from the outside. And so let's get into that conversation. It's, it's rather interesting, I think. And so, you know, in just in this picture right here, you could see that there's a sense of touch and then a uh, sense of vision and maybe even a little taste on the mirror right there. <laughs> and so here's our five senses. We have vision and we have smell and we have taste and hearing and touch. And so this is going to be our, our video on touch. And so touch, one of the things that I wanna say is uh, you probably know that the sense of touch is coming in from the skin. And so there's uh, specialized cells of the peripheral nervous system like peripheral to the outside that are that are sensory so they're taking in messages from the outside and then relaying it to the central nervous system and then ultimately to the brain where we're going to perceive what that is in terms of pain or tickle or hot or cold and so what's fascinating is that some of these uh, nerves are not just nerves but they're layers of connective tissue that sort of increase the, the, the skin's ability to detect uh, touch. And so one of these Pacinian corpuscles or Pacinian cells is found deep in the dermis and it's, it sort of looks like a, a cross section of an onion. And you can see here that it's layers and layers of connective tissue. And then in, embedded in this is a, is a nerve right here. And so this is sort of like uh, the dendrite of the nerve that's going to pick up a signal, but it's not going to be a chemical signal. It's going to be a physical pressure. And this particular uh, cell, this Pacinian corpuscle, all of this combined, is specialized to sense deep pressure, deep tissue pressure. So it's found uh, deep in, in a lower layer of the dermis, sometimes even the subcutaneous as well. And so what's interesting is it's sort of uh, this, the fact that it's a pad like this uh, increases the, the cell's ability to sense something. It's sort of like a, the touch pad of a keyboard is flat, uh, like a pancake, a little bit, little tiles, so that it, it's really good for touching when you're keyboarding. I think, um, I, I think that might be obvious. But most of these uh, receptors, these nerve cells slash connective tissue, are found in the dermis, which is the majority of what we call the true skin right in here. And then the epidermis does have a little bit of nerve as well. It has these, these free nerve endings right here, which are really, um, really good at picking up uh, pain right in here and also temperature. And so there's different kinds of receptors and they're specialized to do different things. And that's kind of, that's kind of neat as well. And so, each one of these are more specialized than the other and less sensitive to other things than the other. And so they sort of all collectively provide information to the brain. I mentioned this Pacinian corpuscle that sort of looks like an onion is a touch receptor, a deep pressure touch receptor, and that's what it looks like. You can see that it's low in the dermis because you can start to see some of the adipose tissue here. And so um, I was mentioning that some nerve endings are found in the epidermis and here they are. So there's a couple of different classes or types of touch and pressure sensors. One of them's free nerve endings and they're in the, um, the epithelial tissue right here in the lower epidermis. And they're associated with heat and cold and sort of an itching feeling right here. And these are uh, like your dendrites. And what's interesting, it's, it's not feeling, uh, it's not sensing chemical neurotransmitter, but it's actually sensing the, the physicality of the pressure being placed on it from the outside of the epidermis. And it's also sensing uh, temperature such as cold and heat, which is kind of interesting. 
Then you have uh, something called Meisner corpuscles, which are um, sensitive to light touch. And so they're found like on your, on your lips and on your fingers. And so for light touch. And so you might imagine if they're specialized for light touch, they would be found higher up in the dermis. And that's right. And they're also connect, uh, surrounded by connective tissue to give them sort of a, a, a flat pad look. And I have some slides to show you in a second of what that looks like. And then these Pacinian ones uh, are sort of like an onion and they fun function in deep pressure. So there's, there's several kinds of uh, receptors, but I'm just going to feature these three in particular because they're, they're uh, rather important. And so you get these free nerve endings, which are found uh, embedded in the lower epidermis right here. There's one being featured right here. And so these are sort of the dendrites of the nerve right there, the, the ends of the sensory nerve fibers. And these are the epithelial cells. Here's the, the basal cell layer and maybe some melanocytes right in here as well. And here's the sensory nerve cell. So light touch right in here and also uh, things like temperature as well. And then these Meisner corpuscles are found again right at the upper part of the epid of the dermis, and here's the here's the um, the bottom part of the epidermis, and so these are light touch again found on your lips and and fingertips that kind of thing, and then um, these are layers of connective tissue surrounding the the dendrite so that it's able to pick up as much as it can, and then there's the the uh, the nerve fiber, which is ultimately connecting all the way down to the to the spinal cord, and then here a little deeper in the uh, dermis is your Pacinian corpuscle, which sort of looks like an onion right in there. And then this is a nice uh, photograph of the light microscope. It shows here's the the dead layers of the upper epidermis right here is the stratum corneum, and then right down here is the Meisner corpuscle right there. And so it's uh, close to the surface and it detects light touch. Here's a really cold magnification, high magnification of a Meisner corpuscle or Meisner cell right in here. And then here you can see the, the interface between the, the epidermis and the dermis right there. And then here's another back away photograph right there of the Meisner corpuscle. Here again is the epidermis above. So this it's found in the upper layer of the dermis for light touch. And then finally is the Paxinian corpuscle, which is sort of, again, looks like an onion, and it's specialized for deep pressure. So what's fascinating is, now you could, you could talk about these um, uh, touch receptors and you can identify them, but I think the real joy is if you have an opportunity to, to find some slides of, of skin and actually try to identify them, that's, that's kind, of, kind of a cool thing. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video on the senses of touch. Thanks for watching.